Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a kind of my daily skincare and makeup products. And these are just the products that I will use any day I do my makeup. Aside from like today, it's a little bit more glam. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So to start off with skincare, that's what I try to do every morning. Sometimes it happens more early afternoon, but I try to have it done every morning and night. I will rinse my face twice with some warm water, and then I will go in with my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I find it's kind of more of a liquidous consistency, but I really love it. I do two pumps, rub it in my hands a little bit, and then I just go in with my face, go in on my face. Um, I rub that in for a minute, and then I rinse again. And then after that, I will dry my face off, and I will use the... Um, the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% Serum. This is good for um, blemishes and just that kind of stuff. And I do about three drops of that and then I go in with my, also by The Ordinary, Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5. Um, you all probably know exactly what Hyaluronic Acid does. I do about three drops of that as well and then I go in on my face and I let them both dry for just a bit. And then I go in with my Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer um, for a combination to oily skin. After that, this is my final skincare step. I will take my Garnier Skin Active um, Rose Water Spray and I will just kind of honestly drench my face in this. I will just go at it until I have like a nice wet layer of rose water on my clean skin. It just makes me feel so good. So that is it for the skincare aspect of my routine. Going on to makeup, I'm gonna go in order of how I will do my makeup. First off, I will do my brows and I will just brush them out a little bit with a spoolie. Sometimes I'll tweeze some hairs that need to be gone or I'll trim them a little bit. I did that today and I kind of regretted it because I made it a little bit short. And then I will go in with my Maybelline New York Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara in the shade uh, Medium Brown. It is just a little wand just like this. And I use the longer bristles right here. Um, I don't use the short ones very much, but I will try to take off as much of the excess as possible and then go in my brows and sometimes, most of the time actually, I will go in with a secondary brow product by Maybelline, also Tattoo Studio, and it's in a tube, just has a cap, and I will take it out and I'll just put a dot of it on my hand with an angled brush and use that to fill in the um, more bare spaces of my brows. And that is what I do for my brows. And then for my eyes, what I do is I will take a primer that I have not, I don't have it in here right now, only because I'm not 100% sure if it's like a favorite or anything. But I will take a primer that I got in an Ipsy package and I will put some of that on my hand. Use a little bit on my finger because a little bit of that goes a very long way. And then I'll just lightly put it all over my eyelids. And once that has a minute to set in, I will go in with my CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer in the shade Fair. Um, just has a small doe foot applicator nothing too crazy and I will also take that on my under eyes my chin and sometimes my forehead um as far as my lashes go I don't do fake lashes a lot really at all because I struggle with them and they've just never really been something I've been 100% good at so my favorite ride or die mascara is the uh, Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. I get this shade very black. I'm wearing it right now. Um, sometimes I'll add it with another mascara I have, but this is like my, if I'm gonna just do my makeup, this is what I go for and grab majority of the time. I absolutely love it. So that is what I do for my eyes, and then I just go into the bottom lashes. For my face, um, I go in with uh, a primer that I mentioned. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if it's like an absolute favorite yet. 
Um, but for my skin, I finally got a foundation that's my color because the two one I did have were too dark for me. It's a miracle. So I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless um, in the shade um, Fair Ivory. And I just take it, I put some dots on my face, and then I use a Sonia Kashuk foundation brush to blend in the foundation. And I always blend it down my neck. I try to blend it a little bit into my hairline to blend that out. And then when I go in after that, what I go in with after that, I take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. My like, desk is wet. <laughs> I go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I use the shade Light Bronze. Um, this I actually purchased after um, Rachel of Race Loves on YouTube. It's, it's her ride or die and it's honestly mine too because it is a fantastic bronzer. I have it on right now. I'm not sure if you can really see it. But I am obsessed with this. It is so good. Um, I've reached pan, but I still have so much left in it. And I'm definitely going to get more of it. And then after that, I will go in also with a Physician's Formula. The um, Mineral Glow Pearls in Blush. Right here, just, just like that. Nothing too fancy. It's just nice. I dropped the... Um, <laughs> the brush I go in with that and then it's very subtle so you can really build it and I just take one of my fluffy brushes I pat into it you don't really need to blow anything off or tap it and then I go in for a nice just of a pink flush to the skin I also like to kind of go over the nose the chin the forehead just kind of everywhere to make sure I still have some more color in my skin after that I go in with my absolute favorite highlighting palette. I am completely obsessed with it. It is the Pixie Rach Loves highlighting palette, the layers palette. Um, lately what I've been using is I use clutch on basically the base of everything and then I use lace and I'll use lace on the cupid's bow as well and then in the inner corners of the eye what I've been liking to do lately is I use uh, lace probably a little bit of clutch as well. I put that in the inner corners and then I'll top it with, I just completely nailed that, oh no. Um, and then I'll go in with a zipper and I'll also put that in the inner corners. Um, but that is my absolute favorite palette that I've ever used. I love it. I put it on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, my uh, brow bone, my inner corners. I don't do it like on the forehead or anything. I just think that's kind of weird. Um, and then after that, I would usually just put on a lip balm. I didn't do that today, as you can tell. But what I will do is I will typically put on my Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Lip Balm. This is my absolute favorite. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it's just so great. It's, com it's completely clear, as you can see. But it's, I love it so much. And then I usually would go in with my um, Gigi Gorgeous lip gloss in the shade, I don't know if it really has a shade, um, but it's just lip gloss and it's very moisturizing, it has like vitamin E in it and everything. It's glittery and it just has a really nice like pink shade to it, just like that. It looks more orange on the camera, but I promise it's like a really pretty pink. And then before I had that, I actually used the Pixie by Petra Lip Lift Max in Sheer Rose. I got this in an Ipsy package, and I fell completely obsessed with it. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I was wearing it earlier, and it does a fantastic job of just moisturizing my lips and making them look glossy and shiny. Not very much more plump. I mean, I'm not mad if I get more plump lips. That's great. But I am completely obsessed with that. It's one of my favorite products I've ever used. Um, and that is just about it for the makeup. As far as tools go, I really have only like one makeup tool that I absolutely love. And it is the Lily Lashes Rose Gold Lash Curler. Previous to using this, I was using just an e.l.f. eyelash curler from like two bucks from Target. 
and I got this when I got uh, my first pair of lily lashes, which I can't wear them because they're way too much for my eyes. I have small eyes, so they're very overpowering. But I absolutely love that eyelash curler. It has the favorite, my the best one that I think I've ever used, and I really, really love it. So um, that is about it for tools. Aside from the brushes that I use every day, they're nothing special. Um, I also have the Lily Lashes Rose Gold Lash Cutter. I'll use that to trim my brows. Um, and the eyelash applicator, but kind of need lashes to do that. Um, but those are, that's about the most favorite tool. And the tool that I use on a daily basis when I do my makeup. So. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more beauty related or just... I mean, yeah, beauty related videos in the future, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me to get more of you in the family that I, if you have a name for this family, leave a comment down below, because I would love to know what ideas that you have for what we could call this, like, fan base, um, anyways, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you all next time, bye.